set now to make his way to the cage, MVP, Michael Van Hoop Page. Another man known for his showmanship, the human highlight reel, Michael Venom Page. It's been a minute since we saw him in Bellator. He's had to contend with injuries. He took a professional boxing fight in which he was successful. But man, you talk about a guy who is all about precision, timing, and incredible technique and that starts from you starting training when you're three years old with your dad and he has you actually competing when you're five michael venom page has been a world champion in martial arts since he was 12 years of age he can fight he can strike he is dynamic there are so many elements that he does better than anybody i've ever seen he is the explosion king Speaking of highlights. Look at what, look at just that missed kick right there. Look at the kick to the body. You can see how it hurts the fighter. Cyborg is hurt. Watch that oh. knee. Switches the knee. That is the loudest shot I have ever heard in an MMA ring ever. Michael Page not only broke Cyborg Santos' skull, he broke the internet. It was the 2016 knockout of the year. And he returns to the Bellator MMA cage here in 2018 at Bellator 200. Made his pro MMA debut in February of 2012. Began training and competing in kickboxing at five years old. And you know, those video games, this guy could probably be a, a, a character in the Fortnite or Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. I'm sure he's watched those and played those games a lot. I'm sure he's the model for those. <laughs> Chance of MVP cascading down from this electric crowd at SSC Arena Wembley in London. Let's go to the tail of the tape for this welterweight match, our co-main event. Look at those records, 12 and 0, 19 and 4. That's telling you both of these guys are outstanding fighters. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA from S. SE Arena in Wembley now. Feature tonight's Bellator 200 co-main event. Three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. And now on Paramount Network and Five Spike here in the UK, we introduce the blue corner first. At six foot, weighing in 170.5 pounds, the former Bellator world title challenger tonight stands with 19 professional victories, four defeats, fighting out of Derby, Kansas, USA, presenting David, the Caveman Rickles. Across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at six foot three, weighing in 170.4 pounds. Returning tonight to the Bellator cage, he enters undefeated with 12 victories, no defeats. Fighting out of London, England, introducing MVP Michael Van Page. In charge of the action, your referee, Rob Hines. London shoot fighters Michael Venom Page. JMTK's David Rickles. Well, see, I'm you, this is Fortnite. I told you, look what's happening. <laughs> Bell and Bob won. 
and the histrionics continue. Page's eight fight Bellator winning streak tied for third longest in company history behind AJ McKee's 11, Ben Askren's nine, and the, the mind games. Big John already going on here. Lots of fainting. You have a good movement by Rickles. He's not going backwards, he's going lateral. And that's what you have to do with MVP. You cannot sit there and go backwards. MVP, the only guy that you can match up in, MV, in, in MMA with him is Steven Wonderboy Thompson because they fight very similar life. Page's last fight in Bellator. November 2016 at Bellator 165. Split decision win over Fernando Gonzalez. That was a fight when you had Fernando Gonzalez thinking that someone like Fernando is going to come after MVP. He decided to sit back, try to be the counter striker, and those two styles just didn't work out. It was a boring fight that MVP ended up winning. There's the lightning quick jab from Michael Venom Page. But you notice where Rickles is starting to put Page. Oh, and he gets, Rickles gets tagged again with that jab. Again, look at the distance and look where he's starting to put Page. That is what Rickles can do. He's that kind of fighter. He's not going to just get Oh, blown. wow. Right uppercut. So precise. As precise as an atomic clock is Michael Venom Page. And when you look at this, it's not so much the speed, it's the timing and his ability to change the distance when he wants. Yeah, Page's timing makes a metronome envious. <laughs> David Rickles standing in front of him and gets tagged with a three-punch combination by Michael Venom Page. There's another right hand that lands. And again, look at the accuracy of what's occurring with Michael Venom Page here, Morrow. Wow. Oh, those are straight how, shots right where they're supposed to be. How do you prepare for someone like Michael Venom Page? You know what? Serious question. I, it is a serious question, especially for David, because you can't find people that match what he does. There's very few people out there that do, and so it's so difficult to get prepared to fight MVP. Of course. Anderson Silva did meet Chris Weidman, and at times the histrionics can have a way of catching up to you, but not so far for Michael Venom Page, 12-0, including eight wins in Bellator. You know, and the, the whole thing with Anderson Silva, Anderson was more of a Muay Thai-style fighter. Wow! Spinning the kick. heel kick by Page that Rickles is saying no, 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 which usually means okay, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> All right, we are watching a human video game in the form of Michael Venom Page. You are, and look, you see, notice again, notice the control of the distance. Rickles is doing things right, and he's coming after him, and he's throwing good offensive techniques, and they're just missing by inches. And that's what Michael Venom Page can do to you, and he can frustrate you. Uh oh. Okay. Michael Venom Page, all about putting on a show, wants to entertain, fell in love with salsa dancing, capoeira, all about body movement. And it is beginning to fluster, discombobulate David Rickles. And that, I'm sure, is part of Michael Page's plan. It always is. You want to get into your opponent's head. You want to make them guess. You want to make them feel confused, because that's going to lead to you being victorious. One of those shots by Page has already forced a, well, caused a leaky fuss. Oh! Rickles gets tagged by the right hand. He's on his wow. feet, and he is hurt. And this is where you look at Michael Van Page, you go, all right, you're just different, because he just he just sits there and waits. He lets the guy get up, doesn't attack him, doesn't go after him. It's like, I, I want to play with you, and that's scary. He is toying with David Rickles like a predator with his prey, and now even talking to David Rickles. But the caveman, a Bellator staple, he will stay in the fight as long <laughs> as he can, but man, this is unbelievable. Well, there was a lot of talk by Dave Rickles. He's going to take his heart. Well, and you know, those things that sometimes they come back to bite you. I, I like the fact that Dave's saying, I'm not afraid of you, but you've got to give respect where it's going. Oh, doing. another one-two combination that scores. <laughs> it is Michael Venom Page's world in the first round, and we are all just visitors.
Look at this action from MVP. Look at those two shots straight. Boom, boom. Both of them landing it, and that's what diminishes a fighter. Straight shot again, just rattles his cage. And look at the movement, the lateral movement. Here comes that spinning heel kick. It does touch him. It doesn't hurt him, but it frustrates him and makes him upset with himself that it happened. Good right hand straight. Put him down, hurt him, and then watch. He didn't even go after him after that. I have a fighter dancing in the break between rounds. And the crowd at SSC Arena Wembley. Michael Page has him in the palm of his hands. And he's about to try to give more hands to David Caveman Rickles here as we begin round two. How does David Rickles even begin to try to solve this? It's so difficult and it's so frustrating for David Rickles because he's doing the things right. It's just that he hasn't dealt with someone that's as good at controlling that distance and understanding when to explode the time. Oh, wow, lead right hand that clocks David Rickles. And that just, Rickles' face exploded much. And, and the referee, it's over, much like the knee to Cyborg. He's given up. He's giving up. He didn't have to snap his fingers. He just had to snap off the power, John McCarthy. He didn't need that gauntlet, that's for sure. Watch this shot. Watch what he does here. Look at the timing. Boom! It's the timing that makes him so dangerous. His ability to see and to respond. As David Rickles is coming in, he makes that counter. Big right hand, and you see right here Explosive. is where David Rickles says, I've had enough. And when you can get a fighter, you can get a fighter as experienced as Dave Rickles. Yeah, I've had enough. That's something. It's incredible. Like you said, if you get the caveman David Rickles to capitulate like that, you are you are something special, my friend. You are. You know, you don't see you see this out of Vasily Lomachenko. You see guys quitting because they cannot figure out what he's doing. Same thing with MVP. Michael Venom Page, known as MVP, and let's hope. Let's hope we continue to see him on a more regular basis in the Bellator MMA cage because he is definitely something to behold. The evolution of mixed martial arts. What a performance by MVP. So MVP now with seven stoppage victories in Bellator welterweight competition is now tied for first with former Bellator welterweight champion Douglas Lima. He has a nine fight Bellator winning streak. That's the second longest winning streak behind AJ McGee's 11 consecutive wins. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the verbal submission comes at 43 seconds into round number two. The winner by TKO MVP, Michael Venom Page. A maestro at work. Let's go to Big John McCarthy. Keep that thing away from me. <laughs> You are so explosive. You cover distance so fast, and you frustrate guys to no degree of frustration. You just made a guy who is a complete fighter, a tough guy, say, I cannot stay in here with this man. How are you feeling? London! 
the one and only MVP is back. I would just, sorry guys, I would like to just dedicate this fight to Helena Ramsey. I know a lot of people heard about the Florida shooting. Uh, my little cousin unfortunately died out there and got hit with a bullet. So I just want to dedicate this win to her. I love you. I love the Ramsey family. Love everyone. And just, I've got an amazing team. The London Shoot Fighters. I'm saying to anybody now, any kind of sparring you want, come to London Shoot. We're always ready. You put on an incredible display tonight. That is the best performance even out of everything that I've ever done inside this cage with you. You look more in control in this, this fight than I've ever seen you. You know what? I, I, this is the sharpest I've felt. This, seriously, I, I went through a hellish training camp back to back to back because I was training for a fight that never happened. And you know, 18 months later, I'm here in the best crowd in the world, man. In front of the best crowd. You guys are supporting. Support me to the end. London, I love you. How tough was it to come in in front of your crowd, in this, your fan base? Did you feel extra pressure here tonight because of it? No, these guys give me energy. I can never feel pressure in front of you guys. You guys give me energy. These lights, Bellator, this cage, this is my home. Are you crazy? I'll never feel pressure. Then tell me, what do you want next for Michael Venom Page? <laughs> Just let me click my fingers. I'm taking over everybody. Everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Michael Venom Page. I, I, I think Thanos, Thanos should be afraid of Michael Venom Page. Virtuoso performance. Beautiful and brutal ballet of violence courtesy of MVP. And boy, does he know how to work a crowd.